Well, today is May 21st, 2019, and I'm addressing an issue with the water softener and getting ready to change the water softener resin to get soft water again. Now, I've got a Kenmore Elite water softener, and what I noticed was while taking a shower, the water just didn't seem quite as soft as it used to be. The water softener is probably, I don't know, about five or ten years old. We use a lot of water to um, fill the swimming pool, and I bet that's the reason why the resin has gone bad. I sampled the water um, with the uh, water softener disengaged and found out, if you look at this little scale, that it had somewhere, I don't know, around 425 parts per million hardness. And then I sampled the water with the water softener engaged and found it was somewhere around between 50 and 120 parts per million. But that wasn't quite enough for me to say it was soft enough. And we decided to change the water softener resin. So here we go. All right, here's the situation with the water softener. It's a pretty nice water softener. It's called a Kenmore Elite water softener. You notice that the panel's off because I unplugged the water softener. That's probably the first thing that you should do if you're gonna work on an appliance. And I've got the water softener. I've got my tools down here. I've got a bucket to put the old resin in. And I think we're ready to rock and roll with changing the resin in the water softener. And the resin's right in here. So here we go. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We are taking apart the water softener and the first thing that I did is I shut off the water just to make sure there wasn't too much water squirting all over the place while I was disassembling the water softener. And I also figured out that you don't have to take apart as many things as what some other folks have done, at least not with this Kenmore Elite water softener, unless you want to go in there and clean the venturi and check the motors and stuff like that, which I've already done. Uh, so you take off the lid, you disconnect the water from the water softener, which I did back here, and then you just take off the motor unit so you can expose the resin tank. And the next step will be in just pulling the rest of the top off and taking out the resin tank. So here we go. Well, I took off the top and very gently put the motor and the lid down uh, on a um, on a bucket there because it didn't reach all the way down because of the electric cord and so on and so forth and then uh, I disconnected the overflow tube there's an overflow tube back here and um, I went ahead and disconnected that so that we would be able to pull out the whole water softener unit there's the resin tank and I have a feeling it's going to be pretty heavy so I'm going to exercise a little bit of strength and pull out the water softener and put it into the driveway to shake out the old resin. I'm just now taking the resin out and look what's coming today ordered by Amazon is the new resin and there's a UPS guy coming in with the resin right now. Yay! All right we're making progress with removal of the water softener and the resin tank and one of the things that I noticed was there was a gasket that was kind of worn out in the bypass valve. I learned that because I was trying to turn on the water from just the regular well water down here. And when I did that, this darn thing leaked. So that might have been one of the problems that I had with the water softener, is the bypass valve wasn't working. So I replaced the gasket, and now we're on to taking care of the new resin. This has turned out to be quite a job because to remove the resin I had to get something to protect the grass. You know the resin's all full of salt. That's part of the reason that you have resin in there is it's an ion exchange column to remove the salt. But I removed the resin from the resin tank. There's what the resin looks like coming out of the tank. It looks like it's got some gravel. It even looks like it has some charcoal in it. There's the empty resin tank and I'm going to clean that out here in just a little bit. And over here is the water softener tank. It's got a lot of salt in it, so I'm going to clean that out. I don't like that old nasty salt, so I'm going to clean it out and dispose of it properly. And what happened while I was working on this 
This is the new resin arrived. And there it is. Iron exchange resin. And I've got, uh, looks like a 50 pound bag and then they add a little bit more. There were two packages. There's a 25 pound bag along with that 50 pound bag. I think they do that just for shipping purposes. So I'm gonna clean out this, uh, this old resin tank and put in the new resin. The gravel is in the ion exchange column of the water softener now, and I'm putting in the, uh, the resin, and I thought I'd make a comment about the resin. It sure is a lot nicer looking than the resin that uh, came out of the water softener. The resin that we emptied out, I don't know if you remember, it was kind of a dark blackish brown, and this stuff is a nice tan brown. So I'm kind of liking how this is looking, and I think we're going to have some pretty soft water with this beautiful new resin. So here we go. We're going to finish filling up the tank, not all the way, probably about three-fourths of the way, and we'll be good to go. This is working out very well. I've got the resin all put in. I actually went up a little bit more than three-fourths. Maybe I went up about five-sixths the way up the tank. And I've got the head unit to put on and to connect a few wires and we'll see if it works. So here we go, putting the water softener back together. We are at home doing the Hawk water test for water hardness. And I've got my young scientist Charles here who's getting a water sample of the water before we used a water softener. So he's got a vial full of water and he's gonna put it into this jar. There he is putting it in the jar. And then he's going to get a scoop of the special color reagent. Here's a color reagent. I call it poison, but it's not really poison. Yeah, Charles calls it poison because he knows he's not supposed to eat that stuff. So there he is. He's going to put it in there, and it's pink. So let's go ahead and put this away. And then he's going to add the titration reagent and count how many drops it takes to turn this from pink to kind of a purplish blue so here we go we're going to go ahead let me go ahead and open that up for you here there you go sometimes you gotta you gotta press really hard to open up that lid and that way it won't all spill out so there you go it's all open okay and then he's going to add drops and he's going to count how many drops so go ahead and start counting add drops and count one, one two three There you go. You're doing pretty good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He's got so far. It's turning out to be pretty hard water from our well. Okay, go ahead and swirl it. 21. No, let's see if it, swirl it. Oh, 21. Is it, is it, is it blue yet? It's almost blue. So you can do one more drop. Wait, it's blue. It is blue. All right, it's blue. How many drops did you add, Charles? 21. You had 21 drops. You know what that means? And let's see how much it was over here. Well, hold on, Charles. It means that it was 21 grains per gallon. Is that pretty hard water, Charles? Yes. What did we have the first time we did it? 20. It was about 20. So... We have hard water, and we're going to have to apply the water softener to get softer water. No. Okay, this is part two of finding out how hard the water is after we run the water through the water softener. So again, we're doing the Hawk water hardness test. And let's go ahead, and Charles is getting a sample of water, and he's going to pour it into that vial. There, go ahead and pour it into the vial. Now remember, this is after running the water through the water softener, and he's going to get his special reagent here. There's a special color reagent from the Hawk water test kit. I call it poison. And Charles calls it poison because he knows he's not supposed to eat that. And go ahead and swirl it around a little bit. Now let's see what color is it. Go ahead and put it down. Purple. Oh, it uh, it's kind of pinkish purple. It looks like the water softener already worked. We didn't have to add very much at all. So go ahead and add some drops. I bet you only need to add one drop because we use the water softener. There he goes. He's adding a drop. Okay, how many did you how many 
did you add? Three. Three, and it's blue already. So how many grains per gallon is that? Three. Three. Is that less than 20? Yes. And does that mean that the water softener worked? Yes. Yay. Can you say yay, Charles? Yay. Oh, <laughs> All right. Yes. It worked. All right. Good job, Charles.